whether the media currently is reaching the black diamonds in terms of um, advertising or form of communication, I think it really differs from probably different diamonds because if you can tell, it's difficult to pinpoint on the, the black diamonds because they're sitting all over the places and it's difficult to conceptualize as to what makes up this one form of a market. Some people believe that, uh, you know, black, black people or black diamonds are, you know, the same through and through, but I must argue that they are different, they are a heterogeneous entity. Um, they have different levels of education. They come from different parts of the country. Uh, they are in different careers and professions. They have different backgrounds. You know, uh, there were some who were in exile during the pre-1994. There are others who were in South Africa who were part of the, uh, the, the, the resistance, uh, democratic movement. So they have different preferences and tastes. So I think it is important to get a sense of the different entities within the black diamonds and then try to capture them. So the biggest problem is that the market previously has been seen as this great big amorphous mess. And there are patterns that have been set. There, there's behavior that's been set. There are ways of doing things that have been set, which will need to be undone. There is no sufficient recognition of the fact that there is diversity within, uh, you know, within, uh, within the black category and, and you can't capture it um, in a single uh, logic. Well, I think the media is still uh, grappling with the concept of uh, what exactly I want. You see, they are, are looking for answers. They are not sure if they've got what I want or they, I mean, they capture my interests, my values and my vision, especially about our country, how we want to, it to look like, uh, how we fit in in, the, in South Africa in this day and age.